Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today uh, we are going to discuss about refit and uh, by using the refit uh, NuGet package you can just use your API, you can consume your API very easy, very easy steps you can do. Okay, so uh, here we have a refit uh, package uh, just I am going to install that is the latest version 6.3.2 and that is the name is refit. Okay. So uh, just after that, uh, just after install of your package, just you can use your uh, API, uh, just configure your API in program.cs file. So here we have a uh, ASP.NET Core 6.0 and a higher version. So uh, to use refit, uh, to configure that HTTP client here by using that line of code. So here we have a builder.services.addHttp client i to do api that's i'm going to discuss uh, just after a few seconds so here we have a api that is interface and here we have a client client.base address that is the json plus folder dot uh, ip code dot com that is a free web api and here we have dot add typed client and uh, typed client you can say that the client and here we have a raster service that is the refit dot for i to do api in, the, in just pass that is the client so here we have a http client you can say so what going inside in the i to do api just go to the definition and you can see that there is another uh, there is a nothing uh, to do in the implementation only you can use i to do api here and you just define the attribute like that so get a to do's get uh, to do's with the id get uh, to do's that is the post action method put action method and delete action method on that time okay so here we have that is the i to do api and the configuration is here like that now you can use or uh, you can say that i to do api is, is uh, actually um, as a dependency injection you have to inject it and in the controller part uh, just here you can say so what inside in the to do's uh, so just go for the model part and just go for the to do's model so here we have a to do model and here we have a user id id and that title is completed okay and the next one is the controller section that is much easy so uh, to do controller and here i am going to add i to do api and by using the the simple line of code that is underscore to do api dot get all return view to do's and similar for the details as well as similar for the create and create post action method there is nothing in the edit and that is the similar so uh, by using the refit uh, you can just use attribute and there is a no implementation to call header information there is a no call to information client has to be factory and there is nothing only you can uh, just use i to do i interface and here we just call that uh, methods and that is the endpoints okay so just endpoints and the type of the method just you want to put, uh, paste it here okay now after that you can use uh, your to do is api is very easy way and here we have a an uh, output of your application so consuming of the api is the very much easier by using the refit okay so here we have an example let's uh just wait for some times and uh, you will see that that is the output of the to do's so uh, here we go and uh, wait for wait 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 waiting and oops there is nothing but it will take time i think okay it's initialized and okay now just go to the navigate section and here we have to do to do and the index action method and here you can see that the whole uh to do is there that is the free api okay uh, so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all of the videos which is related to asp.net